Welcome back for the second half of our doubleheader as the Viking men will take on the pioneers of Mid-American Nazarene in uh, should be a very exciting match between these two teams. I'm Ken Guayava. Chaz Maddy alongside. And Chaz, the Vikings have one loss in conference. That came Saturday on a wet field at Grandview. And they're looking to stay at least in that tie with Baker with a win tonight. And Ken, the uh, Valley Vikings team has been very, very good throughout the whole course of the season. Valley, Valley Siemens has done a very good job in getting this team together. And right now the Vikings sit on top of the standings, uh, ranked fourth in the nation. Uh, the here's the second half of the standings. You see the bottom half, Mount Mercy and Culver and Graceland. All those teams are fighting for position uh, in terms of this. But if we go to the previous graphics page, go to page seven in graphics, then we can look at the top half of the standings where we'll see the Vikings are number one in the, in the conference at seven and one. Baker, sixth ranked team in the nation, right behind uh, the Vikings. Big matchup coming up a week yep. from Saturday against those Wildcats that may be for the top spot in the conference tournament. Uh, CMU at 13, that game is next week. Also on the road at uh, in Fayette. Uh, Grandview at 6-2-1. Mid-America, the 25th ranked team in the nation tonight uh, playing on this field. They're looking for a position also. All right, let's take a look at the starting lineup. In goalie for the Vikings, we have Patrick Aaron Kunda. We'll talk about his numbers in a moment. Ross, uh, Ross Clark is one of the defensemen. Also, uh, Marit uh, Gerson is in the starting lineup. Luka Gluscevic wears number six. He is out of uh, Serbia. James McLaren from Luton, England is a midfielder. Dominic Newton out of Manchester, England. Sergio Toro, Pedro Garcia in the starting lineup for the Vikings tonight, along with Euros Illich and uh, Joan uh, Matoro. Well, there you have the starting lineup for the Vikings, who are in their bright orange jerseys with the white shorts and a very easy to read uh, white numeral on the back. As far as the Pioneers, hey, we're going to get our wish tonight. We're going to see jerseys that looks like they're going to be almost impossible to read. They have a gray looking jersey on and uh, with some red numerals. Oh, you can see those numerals and numbers in the back. And we'll give their starting lineup as we roll along here. But we're ready tonight for soccer. The second half of our doubleheader. And the Vikings are, we're going to have some comments from uh, head coach Vladimir Simic here in just a bit. He's very happy to be home on the turf and not on that wet grass that he played on at uh, Grandview. Not making excuses. Grandview played a good match. The Vikings lost at 1-0. And Grandview is a pretty solid team. Yes. I think they're the 25th in the nation. Yep. So uh, the Hart Conference, very well represented in the NAIA Top 25. I think it's six teams that are in the uh, standings there for the, uh, the latest coaches poll that came out. So you know, lo losing to Grandview in a tough, tough environment. And the game was played on Sunday. Uh, rain, storms, and lightning pushed it back to Sunday. Yep. Uh, Valley had a, you know, got a showing of a lot of rain and lightning on Saturday night, uh, which is part of why, isn't that, why that game got uh, moved to Sunday uh, up in uh, Iowa. This broadcast copyrighted by the Mass Communications Department of the Communications, Humanities, and Human Service Division of Missouri Valley College for the private use of our audience. Any retransmission or the use of the content of this broadcast without the express written consent of Missouri Valley College is prohibited. We're ready for exciting soccer tonight between these two teams. If you have not watched the Vikings play, they use that speed. They will send it all over the field. Transportation considerations provided by Elmer Hare Ford in Marshall. When we go on the road, it's always in a Ford from Elmer Hare Ford in Marshall. No score was just underway on this match on Greg Mitchell Field. And the Pioneers have a player down. And the evening getting a little cooler. A yep. little bit of knee to knee or elbow to elbow contact is uh, going to feel a little, little more sharply uh, be felt. Juan Riesco, the senior out of Chile, Santiago Chile, is in goal for the Pioneers. Dominic Harrington, Johannes Kaisers, Luke Fisher, Matthias. Cavallo, Trey Hunyak, Philip Abreu, or Philippe Abreu, Yolan Flores in the uh, starting lineup, along with Jacob Bussman, Chuck Pond, Jonathan Taylor, 
and Ivan Vidal. Well, you have the starting lineup for the uh, Pioneers, and their number's not quite as easy to read as those of the Vikings. They have a gray uniform. The numbers are white, but yes. it's thin. So here we go. The Vikes trying to go on the attack. And this one is sent all the way in. In the women's game, 2-1 Pioneers. So the Pioneers right in that log jam for second through fifth place. And the Vikings with that loss dropped all the way to sixth tonight from second. And so the clock stops now with uh, 41 and 52 to play. And the Pioneers have another player down on the far 40. And they're, they're calling the, the trainers trainer. out. And he is uh, player is down as the trainer trainer check comes in to check on him. Is that the, the same player from a moment ago? I can't quite tell. And it's a seven on their front, so Matias Cabello. Okay. Matthias looks like Cabello, but he uses a V. It's ca Cavajo out of Chile. Several of these players from Chile. In fact, it looks like three or four on this squad. More than that. Pioneers always have a good men's soccer program. They come into this match with a record of 5-2-1, and one. the Vikings are 7-1, and one, tied with Baker. Baker playing Evangel tonight. We'll probably have those uh, scores by about halftime of this one, I would think. Valley and Baker 7-1, and one, as you saw the graphic earlier. Central Method is 6-1-2, and, and Grandview 6-2-1. and one. Then this team, 5-2-1. and one. Benedictine outscored uh, Avila 3-1 earlier today, and they're 6-3 and three on, the, uh, on the season. So... Ready to resume play. The Vikings will have possession. And they'll work it up their right side. Vikings keep the pressure on early on. That was a heck of a chance by the Vikings yeah. there. I think it got uh, here come the Vikings again working their right side. And Vladi would like to see an early goal tonight. Always want to see an early goal, but he'd like to have an early one tonight to get the lead, get things going again. This one's knocked away by one of the defensemen. These two teams score a few goals. The Vikings have 34 goals on the year. And the Pioneers, 39. The Pioneers have given up just 13. The Vikings have given up a total of six goals this year. So a very good defensive team. Here's a shot. Going up for the save is Riesco. And he will run to the front of the 18-yard box and send this one into Viking territory. Pioneers hustling down to get possession. Working their right side here. Get those comments from Vladi Simic here in just a moment. He knows everybody in this conference. You better be ready every night. There's some good soccer. Here's a pass to the middle. And this shot is partially blocked, and it goes well to the right. And Aaron Kunda is there to Aaron Kunda is there to uh, to uh, knock it away. Knock it away. Aaron Kunda, you can't miss him. He's wearing that fluorescent yellow. Looks like a highlighter in gold. Here's the corner, and it's knocked away. 
Oh, good chance for a shot and an early goal by the Pioneers. The Vikings couldn't knock it away. And then from about 15 yards out, the Pioneers got the goal. The, they got the defender on his hip and he scored. I didn't see who it was, Chaz. We'll find out, but a quick one nothing lead for the Pioneers. That comes less than six minutes into this match. Wow. And uh, while I couldn't clear the ball, the ball got fed back in by the Pioneers, and you know the ball was just was, the shot was there for the taking, and there wasn't a whole lot Eric Inner and Kunda can do no. uh, to stop that. So it was one on one. Here come the Pioneers again as they take it away from the Vikings. Oof. That goal gets credited to Dominic Harrington. So Harrington gets the goal. And um, Karechi out of uh, Paris, France, with the assist. That's the sixth goal of the year for Harrington. Quickly, one nothing. Wow, and that Harry's didn't take long. Got another chance here. As the Pioneers put the pressure on early. So here come the here come the Vikings. Trailing one nothing. McLaren has it. He'll work it up that left side. Trying to get it center of pass. It's knocked away. Vikings with possession. Here's Elich. Sends it all the way to the right side. And this is what the Vikings like to do. They will send it back and forth. They will use the entire field. Use that speed. Now they work it up the right side. The Pioneers are back defensively. Leading 1-0. Early goal. From Harrington. Harrington is out of Trinidad and Tobago. Thirty-seven minutes to go in the first half. Vikings on the far side. That was Montoro. Here come the Vikings. Pioneers are back. Vikes working right side. Here's a ooh, the pass inside. It's offside anyway. Offside, and Riesco came out of goal to grab that one, but it was called offside. Vikings have been close a couple of times. Just decent save and maybe a crossbar, and then flashing just ahead. That was Toro who was offside. Pass to midfield. Taken away by the Vikings. Now they will push it up. Working that left side still with control. Here's a pass out front. Here's a shot and it's saved by uh, Riesco. The left foot on it, but didn't have a lot on it. Riesco able to make the save. Yeah, I think Pedro, Pedro Garcia is going to want to have this one back. He yeah. had a chance to just blast the ball. I don't know that he got it cleanly. So you watch the replay. Uh, yeah, they try to chip it in, but uh, allowed Riesco to make a little, what kind of looked like an easy save. Riesco doing a nice job of moving from his uh, right to left. Yeah, both these teams score quite a few goals. I mentioned 39, 40 now for the Pioneers, 34 for the Vikings on the year. We've played about 10 minutes. Nice centering pass. And Riesco comes out to grab that one. And Toro was charging yeah. hard. Toro wanted that one, but Riesco was there. Boy, this is a fast pace, isn't it, early in this match? It is. And that's one of the things that uh, has been kind of Valley's reputation this year is speed, speed, and yep. more speed. So 
Uh, the fact that the pace of play has been pretty quick already isn't much of a surprise. Here's Bussman to throw it in. Headed away. Vikings have to get back defensively. They do. That was battle for possession about 40 yards out on the Vikings side. Vikes got possession. They waste no time putting it back in play. Taken away again by Motoro. We've got some McLaren over there on the far side. Illich to Clark. Nice pass back to Clark. Sending it back out front. Good defense, though. In the right place, right time. McLaren keeps it in the Pioneer zone. And the Pioneers can't get it out. But for all the pressure, much like the game before, no shots. Yep. That was a big win for the Pioneer women. And a tough loss for the Viking women. Their second loss in conference at home this year. Here's McLaren. Vikings again keeping it in that Pioneer end. Back to the middle. Here's a shot. It's blocked. Now the Pioneers bring it up the left side. On the run. Trying to stay on side. 33 minutes to go, first half. It looked like Martoreau kind of stagger step before trying to get that left foot on the shot. I don't know if he was looking for an angle or just waiting to for a bounce he liked. I believe it would have gone wide had it gone through. Uh, but blocked out in the front anyway, so it doesn't matter. Vikings with those long passes. Now this one's knocked out by the Pioneers. Coach Kevin Wardlaw standing in front of his bench. Roddy Simich in front of his. Two solid programs. A couple of years ago, these teams made it, both teams made it to the semifinals. The Vikings lost to the eventual national champs in the semifinals, and the Pioneers lost to them in the final. So very good representation from this conference. The first goal came about six minutes in from Dominic Harrington. And here is Riesco. Sends it down the left side. Stays in play. And here come the Vikings on the run. Good passing by the Pioneers as they send it all the way across. Now back to the middle. They'll try the right side. Nothing there on the left. We'll bring it back to the right. They keep it in play right in front of the Viking bench. Now it's knocked out by the Vikings. Oh, body there by Harrington. Vikings back defensively. They tried to get this one to the middle. Knocked away by Valley. Thirty minutes to go here in the first half. Again, no classes tomorrow or Friday at Missouri Valley. It's fall break. The football team will play Central Methodist here on Saturday. The volleyball team, I believe, has a match this weekend. 
and a lot of the students will be headed to Kansas, the Kansas Speedway, where it's kind of a tradition. A lot of the sports teams participate in and working the uh, NASCAR weekend to raise money. So that's going on this weekend as well. Pioneers with that 1-0 lead. Vikings take it away. And send this one back. To Illich. Now the Vikes middle of the field, McLaren. Off to the right side. Pretty decent crowd here. It's a beautiful night. Beautiful night for soccer. One headed away, <laughs> kept in by the Vikings. Clear night, cool, about 65 degrees. Can't complain at all. A little jacket weather. I asked if you wanted me to bring my little portable heater, and you said no, and you made the right call. Yeah. Of course, last time I asked, and you said no, it was last spring in, in uh, lacrosse. And, and I froze. Turned about down to about 30 degrees yes. and spitting a little bit of ice, I think. And I was hating my decision about halftime. Nice night here. We'll be in Olathe in a few weeks to wrap up the regular season in football, and that probably in all likelihood will be the last game for both the Pioneers and the Vikings this year. Vikings with possession. Far side into the corner, trying to keep it in, and now they send it out. 28 minutes to go in the half. Women's match won by the Pioneers tonight, 2-1. That ball was deflected out, so it'll be a corner kick for the Vikings. Vikings get the corner. This first corner kick of the night, isn't it? I believe it is. And it'll be with the left foot. Sends it across. Ooh, I thought they were going to get the header, but it was headed out by one of the defensemen. Vikes keep it in. Here's a shot. Goal! What a nice goal that was. Whipped the left foot and buried that one in the right, right side. So whoever triggered came in and shot it. Diving attempt made. Hits the left corner. And a wonderful goal by the Vikings. So the Vikes tie this at one all. Again, we'll make it official here to in a, uh, in a moment, I believe it was uh, Lucevich. Lucevich gets the goal. Luka Lucevich with the goal. Yeah, he triggered it in with the left foot in the corner. It came right back to him, and he pounded that one in. So we're tied at one. Lucevich, that is his first goal of the season. He has a couple of assists, but that's his first goal. We're tied at one. That was a pretty goal, wasn't it? That was a heck of a shot. Johnny on the spot getting through the traffic that had been there uh, in advance of the corner kick. Yeah, he elevated that one just enough to get it by Riesco. So both teams with the first half goal. Nice move. Here's a Working left side is Ross Clark. But it's taken back. Now McLaren trying to keep it in play. McLaren, a big guy. And he took that one right off the chin. Yep. You know, the, out of England. Here's the throw in. Knocked away. And the Vikings will have possession. Illich. And work it back to the right side. Now McLaren still rubbing his jaw. Periodically, that one stung. 26 minutes to go in the first half. We are tied at one. Boy, nice footwork by the Vikings. Get it back to the middle. Now McLaren sends it back to the right. Toro. In the middle of the field. And this 
going to go out. Possession to the Pioneers. And Lorieska over there. This one headed back by the Vikings. Under 25 minutes to go in the half. So both teams came out with some pace, and mm -hmm. both have goals, and it's kind of the last couple seconds have kind of settled down and a lot of play in the middle now. McLaren will bring it up the left side for the Vikings. Sends it in, knocked away off the chest of one of the pioneers, and it rolls out right at the feet of their head coach, Kevin Wardlow. Wardlow. There's a trip on the far side. So back to the Vikings. McLaren. Nice footwork on the left side. Nice pass to the middle. Vikings keep possession. Trying to send it all the way back to their right. It's headed away. 23 and a half minutes to go here in the first half. That was a long pass attempt. Yeah, trying to reach Garcia on that far side. Vikings really, they, they use that long pass a lot. Well, when you have speed, you can stretch the field a little bit. As long was, passes can be advantageous. What was, oh, the Evangel match. Was it one to nothing or something at half, and then the Vikings scored like six goals in the second half. They just wore the Crusaders out that night. Pioneers, though, scored the first goal. Now there's a trip. They're going to oh. call this on the Vikings. That's a bad break for Valley because yeah. of a two on, well, at this point, like two on two situation that was developing. Uh, Vladimir Simic has his hands out. He doesn't <laughs> yeah. understand. And there's a caucus at, in the field there explaining what exactly happened. Uh, I'm not sure Lottie's buying it. Yeah, I don't think he is either. But one as, one is our score. As right. it was earlier, is what the guy in the green shirt says is what it's is what goes. What's going to happen? Yeah, we had a handball. It sure looked like a pretty obvious handball in the women's match. This one's headed back. And they get this one to Luke Fisher. He's out of Gardner, Kansas, which not far from Olathe. Hunyak's out of Overland Park, so have several from the area. Busman's from Manhattan, Kansas. So is Jonathan Taylor. Now in front, Aaron Kunda has to race across from his right to his left to get that one. Now his line drive kick to midfield. That's one on one. Here come the Vikings. Vikes will keep it in play. A little too far ahead on that dribble before being able to chase it down. Well, there was really no one else with him, so I'm not sure it would have mattered. Montoro works it to the left side. Pretty good footwork by the Vikings. Tried to keep this one in and did, I believe, but now it goes goes out beyond the goal. 
No, they're saying he did not. Keep oh, he did in. not. He did not keep it in. Did not keep it in with the left foot. 20 minutes to go in, the in this first half. 1-1. One, one. In the big matches, four matches left for Valley. After tonight, they'll go to Mount Mercy. On Saturday, Mount Mercy and Cedar Rapids, 3-5. and five. And we don't have a score on their game, with, uh, their match with Graceland tonight. Then CMU next Wednesday. That'll be a big one. And then Baker here a week from Saturday. So a week from Saturday we'll have football from Evangel. Not on not on the uh, on Moval, but we will have it on the KMMO radio. And then Jazz Maddie will get started with a doubleheader against Baker that evening with soccer from here. So it should be a fun day. Here's a shot. Good save. Sprawling save by Riesco. And 2 nothing Mount Mercy over Graceland. Is that a final? No, it's in the second half of okay. here. So that would be Graceland is 3-6, and six, so Mount Mercy is ahead of them in the standings. Goals by Nolan Armstrong and James Conversano for okay. the Mustangs. Beautiful old campus, Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Kick is good. Kick is good up through the upright. That had some elevation. Yeah. All right, before we get too far into this, had a few, uh, just got a minute or so comments from uh, Vladi Simic. Let's listen to that interview. Vladimir Simic joins us just for a couple moments before this match with the Pioneers. And, Coach, uh, they're all big now with a couple weeks to go, aren't they? Every match is very important. Every match is the final for the rest of the uh, regular season. So tonight we play a very, very good team. Uh, Mid-America is well known for a good style of soccer, and uh, it's going to be a great match. Probably good to be back on this turf after playing on that wet grass this last weekend. Yeah, huh? Home is the home, you know, so hopefully we can perform much better than last weekend. How about this Mid-America team? What uh, concerns you about them? I mean, they have skillful player and, uh, players, and uh, they play possessional games, something similar like what we do here, and uh, they have some quality. They have some quality overall. But you want to get your game back. You want to use that speed tonight, don't you? Hopefully, hopefully the speed uh, will be the key, especially on a, on a wing. So hopefully we can utilize our speed and uh, score some goals. All right, coach. Let's talk. Uh, good luck tonight. Thank you. All right. So there you have Vladimir Simic, and you could just tell in his voice how important he knows that, how, how, that this game and the rest of them coming down the stretch are going to be for this team. Well, he said it. Every game's the final. So um, you know, you want to hold that, maintain that positioning on top of the conference, or at the very worst, a, a two seed. You have to win, and uh, a losing streak at this time of the year uh, would be very, very bad for the Vikings. Yeah, we'll take a look at the conference tournament here in just a few minutes as well, or at least the schedule for that conference tournament, as uh, that will get started in a couple of weeks. And still a lot to be decided. That that first graph, or this technically the second graph that we showed, but that the top of the standings, you have all the six teams uh, in the top 25 or receiving votes for in the heart. Uh, there's a lot of jostling that's going on, and so really nothing at this point uh, is for certain. And that, you know, if things play out like, let's say, let's say Chalk plays, that match next Saturday against Baker is huge. Yeah, yeah it'd be huge. Oh, another goal by the Pioneers. And that came from nowhere. We'll have to check the replay on that. That came from from the far left side to the middle. And we'll have to wait and see who they gave that goal to. Wow, it's 2-1. And that came from about, well, 35 yards out. I think it's Ivan Vidal that got there. Is it Vidal who got it? He was the receiver of a lot of high fives, so I'm going to guess it was him. It was Abreu who sent it in. Wow. Boy, you did, uh, he sent it right out in front. It was knocked in, we think, by Vidal.
That was almost, I mean, <laughs> as much as he, we, we, we talk defense, defense, defense for some of these teams, and, you know, we've mentioned with Valley, the long passes to create some scoring chances off the free kick. Yeah. You know, send it in, and he was right there to, to chip it in. And, and uh, you know, just in a position like that, you almost think there's a body in front, but yeah. maybe not. All right, so the Pioneers jump out to a 2-1 lead here with still 16 minutes to go in the half. And I'm looking at the stat sheet, and it is Vidal. With Vidal, the who got the who got the goal? So it's two-one, and that is his first goal of the season. Now we mentioned that both teams can score. Yep. Aaron Kunda, the Vikings had only given up six goals this year. And they've given up two here in this first half. Ranked number four in the country. They were two, at, but after the loss to Grandview, they dropped to number four. So here come the Vikings. Finding themselves trading again. Long pass. And it was on side. The ball goes out. Across the goal line. Fans are upset. And a decent crowd here tonight. Few people working out tonight in the Malcolm Center across the way, probably enjoying enjoying the action as they get to work out in this evening. Fourteen minutes to go. McLaren puts it in another gear as he brings it up the left side, trying to get through two defenders, but it's knocked away by the Pioneers. Now they'll. Try to go on the attack, and the Vikings send it back. <laughs> Here comes the throw in. Headed back. McLaren keeps it in. Ooh, he takes it. Hard fall in front of the Pioneer bench. He's up and all right. Likes will have the throw in, and they quickly give it to Ross Clark to do that. He gets it into Illich. 13 minutes to go in the half. Coming up on 9 o'clock Central Time, about 5 minutes to 9. Pioneers send it up their left side. Again, the pace is picking up here again. There was a little lull in the action, but now the pace is really picked up again. McLaren left side. Back to Illich. He was scouting for that long pass. There just nothing was open. 2-1 Pioneers. 12 minutes to go. First half. Vikings right now tied with Baker. Baker playing tonight. We should have a score on that. This one sent high and over the top. Baker, I believe, beat Evangel 3-1. 3-1, Baker won. Okay, so Baker... Baker would be eight and one now. So the Vikings have to win to stay atop. Uh, check that leading three one. Leading three one, okay. They would certainly be the favorite. The Evangels three and six in conference play coming in. Five and ten overall. 
All the scoring coming in the first half for that. Goals from Corey Mitchell and two from Brake Levine. And Baker will be here a week from Saturday. Vikings will go to the bench here. Wendell Gabriel will come in. Gabriel wears number seven. He'll come in with about eh, somewhere around the 10-minute mark. And it looks like uh, Willan Flores will come in as well. Willan Flores out of Honduras wears number 12 for the Pioneers. And here they both come into the action. Two one Pioneers with the lead. Well, it's Karachi and Garcia coming out. The Pioneers scored the first goal was about six minutes into this thing. Here's Ross Clark working left side. Trying to weave his way through the defense. And just into the action is Flores. He is, puts it in another gear. Fresh out there. 9.45 to go, first half. You can see on the screen, 2-1 Pioneers. Yeah, the first goal coming at 39-13. Second one coming at 16-20. This one will go wide right. And the Pioneers with two shots, both on goal and both in. Coach uh, Wardlow like he's giving a little coaching lesson down on the sideline to uh, Carici. And Carici heard what was said and walks toward the end of the bench. Eight forty eight to go. First half. Vikings trailing by a goal. I'm impressed with this pioneer defense, aren't you? They're just not really letting the Vikings get into their game all that much. They're doing a good job of effectively neutralizing. That should be offside. Valley speed, and it is. <laughs> right about the 30, I guess 33 yard line. Chaz Maddy will have the play by play of half number two tonight. McLaren can't stay with it, can't keep it in play in front of the Pioneer bench. Seven forty seven remaining in the half. Looks like Miguel Fernandez is about to check in. All right. Miguel out of Spain. Illich spins, fires the long pass right side. Boy, they love that, don't they? Throw it and then go chase. And if you have the speed, you can run it down. You betcha. And Valley does have the speed. Pioneers, though, have been very efficient defensively. Well, and almost every time the ball, the ball gets the ball, you know, with any kind of, uh, of possession time at all, there's like two or three gray shirts swarming to it. And there's just not a lot of room to go once the ball is uh, under control. Bikes to the middle. We're getting to their left side. Here's a shot. Here's the header. Oh, what a save. Riesco, I don't know if he could 
If that ball's another six inches, I don't know if he gets it or not. He was up there, stretched out, and made the save on the header. It was almost up at the crossbar. Yeah, another six inches higher. It might have gone over. Yeah. What's that goal? Eight, eight foot goal. Eight by 24. And he was at the top of it. And he came out pointing. I'm not sure if he was happy he made the save or if he was unhappy with his defense. But he made the save. Riesco's given up just 12 goals this year, or 13 goals now. It's a quite the paradox. Both teams score. Neither goaltender gives up a lot. Yeah. Five minutes to go in the half. 2-1. Can remind you that our next uh, movel.edu streaming will be on Saturday, the Central Methodist University Eagles in town. One o'clock pregame show. It'll be on KMMO Radio and also on Movell.edu. And then next Tuesday and Friday, we have volleyball, right? Mm -hmm. Next Tuesday, CMU. And then Friday, the Pioneers are here? Okay. So, Chad, you'll have to be watching again next uh, Friday night. The Pioneers will be here. We'll do both of those matches. And then Saturday, I'll, ha I'll head to Evangel for uh, football on KMMO and then try to get back. Maddie will start the Baker doubleheader on Movell.edu. So we have a lot going on, and that doesn't include any of the playoffs coming up. Yeah, it's an exciting time to be broadcasting sports here at Missouri Valley. We're down to 4.15 to go. Here's McLaren trying to split a couple defenders. It does. Splits another one. Now he's tripped. Down he goes. About 20 yards out. And he got a card. Lottie pacing in front of the bench. Yellow card. Four oh seven to go in the half. And it was Flores that received the yellow. Okay. Yolan Flores. Number twelve. Yep. So the Vikes will have it. Twenty five yards out. And this one is up and through the football goalposts. Now Fernandez comes in. Bobby Collins. Jesus Zilla working. Who else is working tonight? Game uh, two. Santiago here. Salazar. We had Taylor Gilkey for a few minutes. Right. Um, TJ Barnes. TJ Barnes on camera. All right. So the TV production class doing a heck of a job tonight. Bringing you the pictures. McLaren weaves through traffic. Tries to center it. Vikings try to keep it in the zone. And they will. Good, good move there by Glusevich. Back to McLaren. 3.14 to go. 2-1 Pioneers as we approach halftime. And this one goes out. And another corner kick for Valley. Last time they were down in this corner was when they scored their last goal. This time Gabriel's going to do. All right, I said that, and now they're going to switch. And that's going to be Glusevich. So Glusevich with the corner. Sends it in with the left foot. It's headed on top of the goal and the ball line and the net on top. Mm -hmm. 
That's another corner for Valley. So we'll do it again. Gusevich with yet another corner. And he'll send this one in lower this time. Off the foot of one of the Pioneers. And the Pioneers will get it out of there with two minutes to go in the half. Oh, the foul on Valley back. Back on the far side. By the way, in the men's tournament, gets started Friday, well, actually Tuesday, October 31st. Eight will host nine and seven host ten. Then on Friday, November 3rd, number one will host the winner of that game. Number four will host five, three versus six, and then two host uh, the winner of the 7-10 game. Semifinals Tuesday, November 7th, and the finals Friday, November 10th conference tournament. Women will play on Saturday, Wednesdays, and the volleyball also on Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday. Pioneers had that one in front momentarily. Now two players go down. Pretty good collision out in front of the Vikings net. It was Clark with the clear. I can't tell who flashed in front. I think caught the end of Clark's leg after that kick out. Clark is up. Javier Beltran. Yep, Javier Beltran. Yeah, Beltran. Like. And he's up. Then all right. Minute 17 to go. At least says he's all right. Beltran out of Chile. Two one. A minute 16, all that remains in this first half. See if the Vikings can make one more run here in the first half. Pioneers doing a real nice job keeping the ball away. It's going to be Viking possession. One minute and counted here in the first half. In the women's match, won by Pioneers tonight, 2-1. And they are now 5-2-2. Two, and two, And that loss dropped Missouri Valley to 5-3-1. and one, Dropped them all the way to sixth place. Here's send this one in. Left side. And now it's going to be sent out. The sliding kick. Down to 30 seconds to go. Vikings will have the throw in and they have to hurry. Pioneers would be content just to send it out again. Here they get it out in front. Ooh. One of the Vikings got a foot on that, but sent it right into the chest of a pioneer defender. Down to 12 seconds, and that, in all likelihood, may do it for the first half. And no one's going to rush to throw the no. ball in. so No one's even going to go get the ball to throw it in. So we are at the half. 2-1, Pioneers with the lead. Chaz Matty calls the second half in about 15 minutes.
And welcome back to Greg Mitchell Field inside Volney C. Ashford State on the campus of Missouri Valley College where the Mid-America Nazarene Pioneers have a 2-1 to lead in tonight's game against the Missouri Valley College Vikings. I'm Chaz Maddie along with Ken Kiava. Jesus is directing, Bobby Collins technical directing, cameras T.J. Barnes and Santiago Salazar. Shane Clary on graphics tonight. And that is our crew, our mass comm student crew working the games tonight as the action is underway here in the second half. You know, when every, all the other students are uh, enjoying the start of fall break, the mass comm students are working tonight, right? That's typically how it goes for media people. <laughs> I don't, we don't tell them any differently. A chance for Valley early. The crowd reacts, but the Pioneers manage to kick it away, and that's Urich who gets control of it now and will feed it across the field. 2-1 is the score. And goal's coming just six minutes in and at the 16-minute mark, and now it's a two-on-two -two for the Pioneers. And a shot that goes well wide of the net. Aaron Kunda didn't have to make a play on it. And it'll be a... I guess it was tipped off of the Valley player, and everyone's kind of moving toward the corner. And the Pioneers will put it in play from there, and that's Abreu moving that way to try to uh, inbound for the corner kick. The Pioneers had two shots on goal in the first half. Both went in. <laughs> So that's Pretty a good high percent. degree of efficiency. Yes. From the corner, that's headed away. And then on the back side of the play, it gets kicked out. And now Valley will try to move it out. Two to one the score. Vikings had a number of chances in the first half, but only got it by once. The uh, Pioneer goaltender, Riesco. That was a very nice goal. It was a very nice goal. The uh, goal coming from Gusevich. He triggered the corner kick. It got bounded back out to him, and he fired it home. At the time, not of the game at one. And there's a play, and bodies collide. Everyone's got their hands up looking for some kind of call, <laughs> no and call. none is forthcoming. Oop. So play continues. Aaron Kunda just gives the ball out and said, let's go. And as play moves on, the Vikings try to well, move the ball back and forth inside their own end. Transportation considerations provided by Elmer Hare Ford in Marshall. When we go on the road covering Viking athletic events, we usually do it, and we always do it in a Ford from Elmer Hare Ford in Marshall. Thank you very much for Matt and all the folks at Elmer Hare Ford working with us on the Viking Sports Network. So just underway, second half. Vikings looking for more chances. Vikings had seven shots in that first half, five on goal. There's a shot that's easily played. Yeah, they headed it, went over top of about three, uh, one Viking and two defenders, and an easy play for uh, Riesco. Huge kick. Ford, that's Harrington on that far side. He'll get it back. And he chips it, and he'll get it back a third time. As now they kind of settle. And there's a pass to really no one. But the Pioneers will maintain control. The uh, Baker game is now final, 5-1. Five, 5-1 one. Five, one Baker. They knock off the Evangel Crusaders. That game uh, played at Baker. So, Okay, so Baker is now 8-1, and, and they have a half-game lead on Valley as we play in the second half. So Valley will need uh, to come back and score a couple goals here if everything kind of holds for the Pioneers to keep pace with the Wildcats. But the defense for Mid-Am has been 
pretty stout so far. Valley really hasn't been able to utilize that speed that uh, Vladimir Simic wanted to be able to put back into use. As this ball is kicked off a defender, then off another defender. Um, I guess not. I guess it kicked an offensive person. It looked like two defenders had touched it before it went out. But it's going to be a goal kick for the Pioneers. Just because I'm interested, I'm going to mention it. The uh, baseball playoffs <laughs> underway. Yankees take a 3-2 lead over the Astros. They won 5 nothing. Somehow getting by the previously unhittable Dallas Keuchel. Yeah. And right now, Cubs lead 3-1 to one over the the uh, Los Angeles Dodgers. The Cubs on life support at yep. this point. I'm hanging in there, though. But with the lead now, we'll see. That bullpen has been something else. We have a final on that uh, Graceland game yet. Graceland and... I will look. And Mount Mercy. Graceland and Mount Mercy. 4-1 Mount Mercy. 4-1 Mount Mercy. Okay. At this point. So that would put Mount Mercy at at four and five and Graceland three and seven in conference play. This is a big game for Mid American Nazarene getting there five, two and one. Benedictine winning today six and three. So the this Pioneers keep the Pioneers need, a half game yeah, ahead of the Ravens. Need to win to stay a half game ahead and stay in that fifth spot. And that goes through, but Riesco saw it all the way and an easy, easy catch for him. Another drop kick. This goes all the way down. Clark gets a foot on it. But the Pioneers regain possession. And here's a pass right side, a good little feed. And it goes out of bounds, and the goal, ball will go back to Valley for the throw-in. Yeah, the standings, they kind of jumble up. Baker mm -hmm. and, and Valley at one and uh, tied for first currently. Uh, then two, three, four, five, all kind of um, teams that are occupied, top 25 yep. spots in the conference. And these final three, four games uh, will determine quite a bit. Yeah, six teams. Yeah, six teams in the top 25. Well, and you have a bad week, and you may go from two or three yeah. to and hosting a game in the conference yeah. tournament, or maybe even possibly have two games to, okay, pack your bags, you're on the yep. road for the whole the whole uh, shebang. So. Well, just talking to Bobby Reese about that, he's the head coach of the uh, women at Mid-America Nazarene, and we are just uh, we're talking just about that. All of a sudden, with their win tonight, they're, they're right there in the thick of things. And Valley goes from second all the way to sixth just with a loss. So that's what's going to happen here in the next week or so. And there's a chance on the left side and played out by the defense. And the ball will stay with Valley. They, again, pressure, but no shots. And, and ball's everywhere on the far <laughs> side of the field. <laughs> How many you want? Yep. We'll throw two or Just three of them keep, out keep, there. Keep kicking them at them, and maybe one will go in eventually. And that is whistled, and the ball will come back. Maybe. Nope. We'll send this one in. This is Savage. The kick, and there's a Ooh. shot that's hooked. Right off of one of the Vikings, I think. And that's going to be a goal kick. Nope, off one of the defenders. Off one of the defenders, okay. Well, hooking, headed, or kicked out. Good defensive positioning. And I think it's that was Harrington way back, and he gets to the side, and Valley will try to regroup and reset. For another offensive push, long pass now across the field. Mm. That's settled down by Gabriel. He centers, and that's off the chest of a defender. That looks like it was Vidal. 
who actually his goal was the difference in the game right now. He goes off his chest, and there's a Viking down. That's Gabriel who's in the corner of the end zone by the Essen Vikings, and he's rolling around. Clock will stop, 35-13, and Gabriel is kind of hobbling on that, favoring that right ankle, but no magic spray needed no, yet, so up. they're going to do it, and the ball's triggered in, headed high Ooh. and just wide. Boy, he had a shot there. Was that McLaren? I don't know who it was, but, I mean, he came in and had a, had a shot at it. Uh, just sent it a little too high. So a goal kick for the Pioneers as Riesco will send it down. Riesco's had a solid game so yes, far. Again, has. the one chance that really he didn't have much to do on uh, Lusevich's kick off that, uh, not off the corner, but off the, the clear right. from the corner. But he kind of hammered home. Otherwise, it's, he's been pretty solid. Right side now, there's De Souza. De Souza. Vikings still trying to maintain control. Glusevich had it, kicked forward to the left, and then some bodies got tangled up. There is a whistle, and Valley will get a kick uh, about 19 yards out. Clayton Sousa, we're going to check in. Yeah, Clayton yeah. Sousa. Sousa from mm -hmm. Sao Paulo, Sousa. Brazil. Sao Paulo, Brazil. So two Vikings over there, and the kick is made and goes right into the wall defenders. Kicked again, tipped up. And chested just wide. Everyone's kind of pointing at each other. Nope. Off to off the of Viking nope. and Pioneer ball. Vikings did a nice job of uh, staying with that and kind of, you know, get a little physical to stay with that with that ball, but uh, could not get it anywhere close to the net. So now Sousa checks in. Clayton Sousa out of Sao Paulo, Brazil. In for the first time tonight. And it's Miguel Fernandez checked out. Still 32 and a half minutes to go. Plenty of time for the Valley. Ooh, there's bodies collide. That's kicked, and it goes over to the Malcolm Center. And it kind of plinkos its way down. Valley will inbound or throw it in. Now right side. Up, and Gabriel can't keep it under control. It goes out. Over to the Pioneers and thrown in. Valley gets it back momentarily. Martorell to McLaren. Oh, he tries a nifty little feed. Can't get it through. And then Sousa just in. Tried to slam one by, and he that ball got deflected out. And now it's on the far side, and again, bodies collide. Get a little physical, isn't it? Get a little physical. And you can, I can feel that temperature dropping. Oh, yeah. So each, each one of those hits out there, I imagine, is a, <laughs> it stings a little bit more and more as the, each degree uh, comes off the thermometer. About 50, uh, 58, 57 degrees. Uh, a few more degrees. That's hipped away and wide. As we watch the replay, it looks like Illich let the attempt that went wide. Riesco sends it forward, headed there. Three gray shirts right there, but Valley comes away with it. And they've got Gabriel around the right side. If they see him, they do see him. The ball's a little bit behind him, but Gabriel adjusts. And we'll feed it back to McLaren. McLaren now a little bit of a touch play. And uh, that's D'Souza who sends it across. But 
mid am. Sends it all the way down. I want to give the Pioneer, again, give the Pioneer defense a lot of credit. They, they're but in good position. Both games, you've yep. seen stout, stellar defense. Quick throw in. That ball kind of hung in the air a little bit. And a clear in Aaron Kunda. The man you can see from <laughs> Sedalia. May see him from the space shuttle. Yeah. With that fluorescent suit on. Long pass headed away. Had a guy cutting on that far left side. And now jostling for position. Coming away with it. That was Clark who was battling for it. And Midam sends it out to the far bleachers where there's a handful of <laughs> brave souls yeah. over there in the dark just... <laughs> Huddled up and watching uh, the Pioneers. Six to be exact. With a 2-1 lead with less than 30 to go. They've all got their coveralls on. They all have blankets. One man in shorts. <laughs> he did not get the memo. He didn't get the, the memo. Temperatures, the temperature's are, going. Yeah, it's, it's mid to late October. I think it was mid amp a few years ago, wasn't it? It was like in the late November or mid-November mm -hmm. game where you got to do some basketball and I got to sit here. It, it could have been. All yeah. my TV cables froze. It was Ooh, so cold. Cold. I gladly went to the Burn Center to do basketball. A lot of sporting events will be broadcasting. In the, and then basketball, by the way, starts on the 31st. Now, that'll just be radio only, but... It's that time of year. Yeah, and the TV side of that picks up at the end of November, the Wednesday after Thanksgiving break or the Thanksgiving holiday mm -hmm. for everyone. So that's when we uh, start with Tim Dixon's Vikings on the women's side and Chad Lance's Vikings on the men's side. And I think we go to Mid-America Nazarene early in the season. I think we go there in December. Always fun to go and to Olathe. And nifty little passing. Vikings with possession, looking for an opening. And everyone collapses for mid-am. And, oh, I thought he was going to take a shot from about 40 out. Didn't. He passed on the ball and then passes it out to the right side. That's, oh, nice interception. Yes, nice interception again. That was Abreu, I believe, with the interception. And then Gabriel now has to work it back. And here comes some of that pressure again. Illich feeds it to the center, and there's a couple of orange shirts there. There's Clark feeding ahead, and oh, a nice back pass. Doesn't get through. Chipped ahead. But Valley keeps it. Shot. Oh, he scores! Oh, ho, ho. James McLaren, I believe, with yep. this goal. Woo. About 30, 35, 33 yards out, and he and buried it. He went short side, the hockey term I know, but that's a short side goal. Oh. Riesco couldn't get it, and with 27-21, James McLaren, the sophomore out of Luton, England, ties the game, and now it becomes a uh, basically a 27 and a half minute long race. To see who can win this one, hopefully in regulation, and if the not... But like we said, it's going to take two to get Valley above uh, that line and keep pace with Baker, who won uh, tonight. So there's the first part of that equation. 27 minutes to go. 2-2. Two -two. McLa uh, McLaren with the goal. And for McLaren, as I look this up. Third, third goal. Third of the goal season. of the year. Yep, third goal of the season. Boy, yeah, both Viking goals have been no doubters. I mean, they have buried in the back of the net. And there was not a lot that Riesco could do either no, one of them. No. I mean, maybe he could have cut the angle, but. Yeah. That shot was taken from 30, 33 yards out, and I mean, it was a. It was a rocket. A rocket. So now the pressure back on mid am to generate some offense. Valley looking for that second tally of this second half to possibly take the lead.
Right side, Gabriel working in the corner. He centers, and that's headed away. And Claren, <laughs> he's just going to, I can kick it hard, and so he did. I'm that ball might that be on the street by now. Be on Morrow Street in front of the burn center. <laughs> hey, look what I found. Soccer ball out here yeah. in the middle of nowhere. We have to borrow the maintenance cart there to go get yeah, that one. man. So the we may be on, we may not be on. So the 2-2 game here with 24.53 to go. And the Vikings now are moving up their left side. Back to McLaren. McLaren. Sends it in. Knocked away by the by the defense. Here's a shot. Oh, Gabriel's open, but his shot goes wide to the left. So, 2-2 two -two is our score. 24 minutes to go in the contest. Pretend like we're still working because we think we might be. Here's the kick out to the defense. 2-2 Two -two game. 24 minutes remaining. Pioneers have it close to midfield. And they'll work it in again. Vikings keeping the pressure on. And they'll send it back out to Corden. Alex Corden is in. And they send it to midfield. Vikings. Again on the, uh, working on the attack. This one sent out way out to the, uh, to the right side. Uh, 22 minutes to go in this one. 22 minutes to go. We were off for just a short period of time. We apologize for that, but a uh, little technical difficulty, and we are back. Yeah, our internet took a hit, so. The internet takes a hit. Not much we can do about that. Here is McLaren. Take it away, Chaz Man. So McLaren working right side. He centers. There's a man there, a little Ooh. far. Oh, and chipped over. I think it was wide left anyway for that so still 2-2 two -two. if we did go offline I'm not, I'm not convinced we were offline for everyone we may have just been offline for our monitoring purposes here but either way nothing was missed so if we did interrupt our broadcast momentarily for the internet hit then uh, we do apologize but nothing was missed so all you saw all you would have missed was a couple throw-ins and and a mass comm professor trying to <laughs> rally it. the troops and figure out Scram why it. all of a sudden there was no internet in the booth. And we are back. So 2-2 two -two the score, 21 minutes to go in regulation. The 
field has kind of been tilted the last 10 minutes or so. Valley's had a lot of time mm -hmm. in this mid-am zone. Yeah. That ball gets fed back to Riesco, and both defenders kind of look at each other, and neither one was willing to play it, but Riesco sends it forward, and Valley still may come away with it. And it kind of pinballs, and players are pinballing, and there's a elbow that got a little high, but no call. Sliding I'm not kick. sure there was one with merited, but players are starting to. I don't know that turf's getting a little slick because of the cool temperatures. Good a couple of players have kind of tried to pivot and bit it. 20 minutes to go. So another f fantastic finish in the making for these two teams in a contest that, you know, all these games are always close between Mid Am and, and Mo, Mo Val. It's just. You know, you see those two the two schools on the schedule, and it's like, all right, you're expecting a close, entertaining game. Usually, I would say, and I don't want to leave anybody out, but of the older schools in the conference, when you take Benedictine, Baker, Mid-America, Nazarene, and Valley, and you put them together in any sport, it's you, in any combination, it's pretty good, good action most of the time. Illich trying that right sideline. Gets cut off nicely by Mid-Am. So the Vikings will try the center of the field. Nope, back to the right. And D'Souza will cut to the center. He feeds it all the way across to that far side. Now along the line. Oh, it's out in front and mm. tipped really? off. I thought it was going to go out for a second. Gabriel looking to center. Can does get it centered, but it's headed away nicely. And good speed by the yeah, Vikings there to run in. that down. That was Martorell who was able to head off the Pioneer defender, and he gets it back, and he sends it forward. Mm. And that plays on side, but Riesco is going to oh man, going to funnel some traffic away, and he'll watch it go out of bounds and have a goal kick with 18 and a half to play. I'll tell you what, just missed because that play would have been on side, but the pass just couldn't quite catch up with it. And that was uh, trying to trying to get to it would that. Have been, yeah. Ayakova. Kova, he is out of England, Manchester, England. And that gets sent wide of Gustavo de Sousa from Brazil. <laughs> the commentary behind me is illuminating sometimes. <laughs> Jesus Zilli directing tonight's broadcast. Bobby Collins right beside him. Yep. Collins will be playing some basketball this year for the Vikings. In about, what, a couple th weeks? 13 days. One of the shortest power forwards in the Heart of America <laughs> Conference, Bobby Collins. <laughs> Who is, is, did you guard Jones last year, Torin Jones at all? Yeah, he did. That's why I thought. I was like, yeah, Torin <laughs> yeah. Jones is 6'10", 6 6'11". 6 6 former D1 player. And here's Bobby, Bobby Collins. got to guard him. He got to guard him. And that Penn team was something else last no, year. Here's a shot oh. that's up and wide. And that, and that, 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 oh, that like, one's on tomorrow also. So. Oh, oh, oh. oh, man. You're not going to get many... many a better chances than that. And I think that was uh, Sousa, wasn't it? Clayton Sousa. Yeah. No, it was Gusevich. Was it? Yep. Man, he thought, oh, I have this one. And he he got it hard, but didn't he launched it high and wide. And now Vladi wants play stopped. There there's some confusion. He's talking to the the near flagman. And he walks away shaking his head. I don't think he liked that explanation either. <laughs> yeah, he didn't like I, it. I think he's 0 for 2 on liking yeah, explanations. He didn't like it. Now the 
As the flagman walks by him, he's going to get an earful. Get an earful there, too. Had it a couple times, and oh, here's a chance. Nope. Kicked away nicely, and there's a race of the ball, and Clark comes up and sends one back to Riesco. So we'll try this side, and that one's missed. And a late whistle on D'Souza as uh, Javier Beltran went after the ball, fanned on it, and they called the called the push. Fans didn't like that. Nope. 15 minutes in regulation. And Vladimir Simic didn't like it either. No. This pass is intercepted by the Vikings. And they feed it out to Gabriel now. And there's another slip. Spun around. And and the and that, that field might be getting a little slick. I think he was helped by Clark Campbell there a little bit. So Vikings putting some more pressure on. Clark falls over the 15. And that gets cleared by the Pioneers. 2-2 game. James McLaren tied it up. Both Pioneer goals came in the first half. Valley has one in the first and one in the second. And Riesco will spin the ball at the five. And again, Valley swimming into the ball, doing it. Valley's, uh, I tell you, the last 20 minutes, so there's a trip from behind and body spill. And a uh, cramp behind the play, the left side 35 yard line on the far side as one of the Vikings. One of the Vikings is I getting some the... cramp in the mid and that's uh, Clark Campbell helping massage some of that tension out. So even though the temperature down in the 50s, there's some cramping mm -hmm. out there. You know, the Pioneers, they have not had many shots on goal. They only went, what, two in the first half, did you say? And then uh, they haven't had many here in they the have. second they're, half. They're credited with three. Okay. So uh, it's that Mc was McLaren. That was McLaren. Yep. Yep. So McLaren with the, who was down and Clark uh, Campbell for mid-am. Who helped them out. That's a good show of sportsmanship. Yep. So even though there's always a battle between these two teams. That's kind of the the main thing of the NAI, isn't it? That's yep. kind of yep. Champions you hear that of before, character. Before every game, champions of character and good sportsmanship and that's what it's all about. 12.45 to play in regulation. Valley needs a win to keep pace with Baker atop the conference standings. Mid-Am needs a win to stay ahead of Benedictine in maybe it's fourth place in the standings. Yeah, they're five. They're, fifth yeah. place. The fifth place. They have to get a win to stay in fifth. It's Benedictine one. They're six and three. That's headed away. And sent down, and that's kicked out by Illich. So, yeah, Mid Am three shots. Valley now has 12 credited to them. Uh, Mid Am two shots on goal, and still that 100% efficiency of shots on goal. Two on net, both in. That pass is intercepted by. Mid am. Running out of time in regulation, 11 and a half minutes. Again, Bonnie's down. Don't know if there was any contact over there, but 
players are on the ground. On that far side momentarily. And now the Pioneers going to push the left side. Beltran feeds it, and this ball gets sent. Almost made it. Almost into the made it to the stands. I still have flashbacks to the game a month and a half ago where because of some minor construction of the press box, we were out in the stands and mm -hmm. five minutes into the game, <laughs> there comes a ball rocking toward all our equipment. Yeah. All right, this is going to be... Long running throw yeah. in, feeds it in, and header was missed, and Valley kicks it away. Right. Sousa... Had it for a second, but now the Pioneers get it. Clark defending over there. Ball is kicked away by Clark. Mid-am with the throw in. Coming up on 10 minutes left in regulation. And that long running throw in across the track. Back onto the new surface here at Greg Mitchell Field, installed over the summer. Lobbing it forward, headed away, and here's Gabriel. Oh, nice move. Cuts it back behind Beltron, feeds it across the field. Pioneers are there when they have to be, though, aren't they defensively? They recovered nicely. It was about to be a three-on-two. Ball got a little air, and the Pioneers were there. And that goes out of bounds. Valley throw in. So the last uh, 25 minutes or so, most of the offense, actually all the offensive pressure has come from the Vikings. Spent a lot of time in the Pioneer zone. And then Am's forays into Viking territory have been pretty brief. And a little give and go attempt that was intercepted. And kicked out. And now mid Am will have the throw in. Eight and a half. To play. Long throw in. Good 20 yard throw in. And that's. Kicked out, and the ball goes to mid-am. Despite Lali yeah. trying to influence the call. Flores had it momentarily. Valley trying to get it back. Can't. Beltron tries to feed it, and a slide tackle, and oh, uh -oh. and things really chippy. Uh-oh. Now we have a little something going on here. The original play looked innocent enough, and then... Martoro came Martor in with Martoro a little Martoro shove. came in with a shove, and he wasn't happy with the tackle, but I don't... No, the other... I think, I think he was just... I'm not sure what he was upset about. The play was looked to me clean. <laughs> yeah. Now, Illich came in there and got involved. I spoke my... I think I might have spoken too soon about... The good, clean, yeah, every, clean. Every, everyone helping each other out. That's yeah. Well, there's yellow cards. I'm walking around with the yellow cards. I would say Matoro's going to get one. Uh, one of the pioneers getting a yellow card now. The 15. That's uh, that is uh, Cabello. Cabello. Cab Ramundo Cabello. And Coach Wardlaw is getting an explanation. Hey, coach, get back on your feet. I'm not sure they're done yet. Another yellow card. This one's going to go to Illich. So Illich picks up a yellow card. And you get a yellow card, and I you get a yellow yeah, card, and you, you get, get a yellow card. Who else wants one? Yellow cards for everyone. Now, Vladi is 
not happy. Is someone going to be? Well, let's just wait and see what's happening here. I think. Wardlaw comes out. Simmage comes out. Talk to the referee. Referee still pointing. So I think Gabriel got a yellow card also. <laughs> All right, so here's what I know, because this is what's updated, updated so far on the stat sheet. Aaron Kunda got a yellow card. Well, he yellow. I guess he was in He that. came in okay. there. Illich got a yellow card. Okay, got that. The coach, Wardlaw, got a yellow okay. card. Uh, and I know that uh, Cabello got one, I thought. Maybe. Yeah, I thought so. Flores will kick it. Flores yeah. got a yellow okay. card. Oh, yeah, one earlier. So, uh, Yeah, he had his earlier. All right. Joe, send this one in. And that's headed right to Aaron Kunda, and Ned Ambati takes a spill. Aaron Kunda, old uh, Enzo de Payday style throw out of uh, the ball, out trying to feed uh, Sousa up the right side. Uh, there was no go. Any other yellow cards? They're, they pointed at a lot of people. <laughs> a lot of them. That's all that's on the sheet so far. 7-10 to go, so oh, we may be looking at OT. And uh, you see Heath Morgan and Colin Smith. <laughs> Both. <laughs> inch, they inch their way toward the field. And they're kind of they're chuckling about things now. They were. They are. Colin, the, associate athletic director, and. Uh, our dean of students. Dean of students. Right there for Heath Morgan. So. Laughs are good. And that's headed away. By the Vikings, as we are now at six and a half to play. Long feed, Gabriel, the intended receiver. He slips. And he slips. It's a humid and heavy air right now, so maybe that's part of it. Ooh, here Chested we go. down, going to the center. Couldn't mm -hmm. quite control it. Nice job of tipping it away. That was Gladiador, who was making the move toward the center. Ooh. And once again, the mid am defense steps up and stops it. Here's a pass up the right hash marks. Race to the corner, hits the pole, and out of bounds, goal kick. We may be headed for an overtime. Let's see, five minutes to go, five and a half. And that's plenty of time. There's yeah. a substitution uh, for the Vikings. Sergio Toro comes in, and... Looks like it's Klesusa came in, coming out. So Aaron Kunda taps it ahead now to Gustavo de Sousa. Gabriel pass was to really no one in particular. Vidal had it, but he loses it. And here comes Valley trying to push the issue. Toro, fresh legs off the bench. Went streaking up the field, but the pass did not get through. And there's a pass mm. again. I'm not sure that would have been on side if it had gone through. A couple of close attempts. That's tipped out as it goes up the left side. Centering pass is deflected wide. A lot of the defense and a corner kick coming for the Vikings. The ball is there, but you know, it's like no one wants to go over there and take it. And then <laughs> yeah. Gabriel is now just trotting Hurry over. Hurry up! Hurry up! Four minutes to play. Gabriel will attempt this corner. Everyone sets, everyone moves, hooking in. That's deflected away by Riesco, I believe, got his hands on it. And they'll try it again. 
Also checking in for the Vikings, and the next opportunity he can is Pedro Garcia. Ball in, and hands on it from Riesco. A huge yeah. path there for him to step forward and deflect that away. And here come the Pioneers rushing up the right side. And that's kicked away by DeSouza, and the Pioneers will throw in with three, less than three and a half to play. Three and some change. Over by the benches, he'll set to throw it in. Long run, long throw. Bounces around, kicked away. I'm not sure whose foot that was, but ball goes up, and Gabriel now will try to run it down the right side. And that gets chipped ahead by Beltron. Centering feed, and right there in Kunda, there really wasn't anyone home. That came off the foot of Flores. And we're down to two and a half. Body Simic, shouting instructions, feed up the right side. That ball takes a funny hop off of the doll's foot, but mid -am maintains control. Pressure being put on the Vikings. That ball chipped the side, stays with the Pioneers. Two minutes to play. It's like we're going to, yeah, we'll see. Maybe one or two more yeah, runs for either team. It's looming. Yep. Overtime is looming. Pioneers haven't done much offensively in the second half. The Vikings have, but they haven't been able to put one in the net. They do it one in. They haven't been able to do it again. Here comes Beltron. Oh, look out. Oh, a nice little feed. And that's deflected Ooh. high and wide. Aaron Kunda thought about sticking a hand out there. Couldn't get to it. Let it go, and the Vikings defense gets it out. About 38 yards, and now the Pioneers will push that right side, kick it back a little bit. And here's a centering pass, headed. Oh, it's on a foot. Shot. Oh, oh hit post. the post. And, and a score. Was Everyone was looking around, watching the ball come off the post. And it looks like Cabello, I believe, who puts it home. Yeah, I believe it was Cabello. The, the first shot hit the post on the right side and came straight back. And, and you're right, everybody stopped and looked and Cabello just buried it. It was in Gustavo de Sousa's feet. He misplayed it and Cabello was right there Ooh. for the goal. If it wasn't Cabello, was it Flores? I think it was Cabello. Well, we'll check. Cabello was getting all the high fives. Wow, a minute 13 to go. Wow. And that, I think, was only their, was that their that's first their, shot. That's their, their fifth shot overall, <laughs> so maybe their second or third of the second oh, half. Oh, my goodness. It hit the post, came off straight back. Everyone was looking at that, and then, boom, he buried it. Minute to go, minute 13. So Gabriel's out, Pedro Garcia back in. The Vikings need another 60 seconds to score. And that's wow. deflected, and... That's going to be clear, and we're probably going to be seeing a lot of that here in the next 55 seconds. Long feet ahead, and again, people yep. watch it. And that's over the Seuss's head. So the Vikings, and he have... can't control it cleanly. And now McLaren. And here we go. Not headed it. Out and a long kick and. Clark trying to run it down. He'll have to, oh, it's you know, pressure by mid-am. Why not? Up ahead to Gerson. And that's ahead, and yeah, that misses in 15 seconds. And uh, they're going to play a little bit of keep away. Yeah. Riesco yeah. picks it up. He's going to trot around, and a late goal by mm, wow. uh, Cabello. Is going to give Mid-Am a 3-2 victory. And it's back-to-back -back losses for the Missouri Valley College Vikings 
on the road, the number 22 Grandview on Saturday or Sunday, and then tonight to number 25 Mid American Nazarene. 3 2, the final score. The game winner come, comes from Raimundo Cabela out of Santiago, Chile. 3 2, the final. So Baker now 8 and 1, Valley 7 and 2. Mid America 6 2 and 1. That puts them right there. Uh, in that third and fourth place, a big win on the road. So but they both win. Vikings lose two in a row. They're now uh, in second place. Well, check that, 6-1-2. and two. They may have fallen. Well, they'll still be a half game up on Central Methodist. But, boy, it's getting tight now. And that game against Central Methodist next week and against <laughs> Baker becomes huge. Well, then Saturday's game is no slouch either, so they have, it's must-win territory for the Vikings. What a, what, what a game. Congratulations to the Pioneers. This broadcast copyrighted by the Mass Communications Department of the Communications, Humanities, Human Service Division of Missouri Valley College. For the private use of our audience, any retransmission or the use of the content of this broadcast without the express written consent, Missouri Valley College is prohibited. Again, transportation considerations provided by Elmer Hare Ford in Marshall. When we go on the road covering Viking athletic events, it's in a Ford from Elmer Hare Ford in Marshall. For Chaz Maddie, his entire crew, Mid-America comes in. They win a boat 2-1 and 3-2. to two. Good night from Missouri Valley College.